Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. So I just want to lay a couple ground rules just right off the bat. Um, first of all, I am not a professional welder in any kind of way. I'm just a weekend warrior, as they call it. Um, I just weld for fun. So I'm not uh, somebody that's had a ton of experience with different welding helmets that uses $300 welding helmets every day on my job or whatever. I've only used a handful of welding helmets. So I'm not basing this off of a lot. Uh, so take it what it's worth. Uh, yeah, so the other thing is, full disclosure, I received three different samples of this welding helmet, uh, as you'll see throughout the video, and each one of them were for free. But I will also add that I don't feel obligated to say anything good about these welding helmets because the relationship has pretty much been dissolved. They sent these back to me in August of 2019, and it's now February of 2020 and we haven't spoken in a long time. I think they're upset with me for taking so long to get this video out. Um, and then I was not happy with them for another product that they sent me and the way that that whole thing went that I made a video on that I never uh, actually put out on YouTube. So <clears throat> um, I'm not feeling really biased either way. Uh, I'm not mad at them really. I just wasn't happy with the way the situation went with this other video that I made and they're not really happy with me. The relationship's pretty much gone. But with that being said, I pretty much have only good things to say about this welding helmet. Um, in that conversation, he told me that uh, they make, that this same manufacturer makes welding helmets for a name brand uh, company. I don't remember if he told me who it was or not, so I'm not gonna take a stab at who it was. They decided that they could make the exact same helmet, slap a different name on it, charge less, and make more money. So whether or not that's true, whether or not these are actually just rebranded uh, welding helmets for another company, I can't really say. I actually did try to look into it a little bit, but it was just taking up way too much of my time, and I felt like it wasn't worth it anymore. So uh, getting into the actual welding helmet. So obviously it comes with the helmet. You get two replacement lenses for the outside. Uh, and one replacement lens for the inside and a manual that's what comes in the box and so the welding helmet itself it's pretty lightweight um, if I think it's made out of pretty good uh, material it's got a pretty good build quality so usually you can kind of pick stuff up and say this is a cheap piece of crap um, it's flexible it's you know it just feels like it's made out of decent material but um, again, that's what they have five different designs of this thing. They've got the flame one, which I painted uh, some of the flames on because I had an inappropriate image for YouTube and I didn't want to endorse it. Um, and then, so I painted over that part of it. Then just a plain black one, which is my favorite. I liked plain old black. And I also really liked the electric, uh, the electric blue one. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, so yeah, but I ended up keeping the black one. I'm going to keep it for quite a while. Uh, and then they've got like another Eagle design and like another plain black one of like a little bit different helmet design, but it's made with the same, uh, auto darkening actual electronic piece itself. So the headgear is, I would say overall pretty careful, uh, comfortable. It's like most welding helmets these days, even the cheap ones, it's got a ratcheting um, adjustability in the back to tighten it onto your head. And then, it, as you can see from the video, there's a lot of other adjustments to it that you can make to fit your head. I actually haven't really messed with them. They came mostly just fine. I could probably tighten up one or two and loosen up another here or there. But anyway, so overall, pretty good. Uh, lots of adjustment and uh, just overall really comfortable. Uh, the viewing window, really the business end of this thing. So one of the things I like about it is that it's got this true color technology that they call it. Um, it's definitely not totally true to what your eyes would see. Um, it is a little bit different still, but it's not that green color that with a lot of these cheap welding helmets come with. Um, I find it to be a lot more pleasant to look out of than like my Harbor Freight the uh, red striped one that I've got. It's got two sensors that are supposed to be able to pick up this, uh, like the arc flash, much faster, better. It's pretty standard. They've got them on the Harbor Freight 
One's uh, the Harbor Freight welding helmets as well, these two sensors. Um, <clears throat> so speaking of the flash, um, I've never been flashed by the ARC. Uh, it's always been really, really responsive. It's like 1 in 10,000 uh, reaction time, so it's really pretty quick. Um, I've never felt discomfort or anything using this welding helmet. That's definitely a concern when you're buying a cheap welding auto or a cheap auto darkening welding helmet is uh, the safety of your eyes. But as far as I can tell, it's uh, been totally fine. And usually you know if your welding helmet is allowing your eyes to be hurt. So the viewing window is one and a half inches by three and a half inches. It's a little bit bigger than that, but that's really uh, the roundabout nice round numbers. Um, they do make a uh, helmets with bigger viewing windows, but they cost more. They actually are pretty nice and I will consider picking one up in the future actually. I liked it enough that I will spend my own money on one of their bigger sizes maybe someday when one or the other one of these helmets that I have now uh, goes out. So uh, one of the things I don't like about the um, actual auto darkening technology or uh, electronic piece is that it doesn't have a grind mode. It's only got uh, shades 9 to 12 in it, which is a good range. It's totally fine, especially when you consider how much it costs. But I still wish there was a grind mode where you could just kind of shut it off. So that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, like I said, I've got three of these welding helmets. I've had them for about six months. I did take a little hiatus from welding because of a busy college semester that I had last fall. Um, but I did use them quite a bit, and I have enjoyed them. Um, I definitely think for the like thirty-three dollars, you probably get them for about thirty-five bucks after tax off of Amazon. Uh, which there will be a link to them in the description below. I think they're a pretty overall good value. Um, they look pretty good. They're not like ugly or really goofy looking. They've got a pretty nice design. Um, and then with the, each different design, they even look pretty nice. Uh, especially compared to some of the cheaper ones like you see at Harbor Freight, that blue flame uh, welding helmet that they got is really goofy looking, I think. Um, because those stickers look so cheap. These don't look quite as cheap and I can't tell. It looks like that they're like, the designs are painted on. Um, maybe not the black one, but at least the blue, uh, electricity blue one and the flame one, it looks like that's painted on because I couldn't peel. I tried peeling off the uh, uh, inappropriate image off the red one for the video and I couldn't get it peeled off. It, I think it was painted on so I um, ended up just painting over it. And then, yeah, guys, so really, for a DIY guy like me, weekend warrior, just having a good time repairing some of your own stuff, uh, I definitely would give it my stamp of approval, but again, take that for what it's worth. Um, I don't think you'll be disappointed. But thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and maybe consider subscribing if you're new to my channel. I do welding videos, a little bit of small engine stuff, um, just like kind of like garage and shop projects. I've done some woodworking stuff in the past, but I don't think most people are really interested to that, uh, that watch my channel, but yeah. So again, guys, thanks a lot. We'll see you next time.